really hard to find the time to cook and then find the time to cook something healthy and kind of manage like price with time with how it tastes we usually eat out a lot but we've been trying to cook a lot more to obviously save the money emily morris is a sophomore at asu living off campus like many students she and her boyfriend are trying their best to maintain a healthy and steady diet with the college students budget of time and money this task can be very difficult. So if you're a student, if you're trying to work and go to school and kind of manage like being off campus and like commuting to your classes, it's hard to find time to eat as it is. And then a lot of the options that are fast aren't always the healthiest. And then if they're fast and healthy, they're like pretty expensive. On average, ASU students spend about $230 on food every month, with nearly half saying that amount is too much. One in five respondents felt they went out to eat too often. While campus students struggle with the finances of eating, students who live on campus often struggle with nutrition in campus dining halls. Zachary Walker is a freshman in the W.P. Carey School of Business and often goes to the Hacienda Dining Hall for meals. He spends quite a bit less on food than average because of his meal plan, but he says he's not eating as healthily as he could be. They definitely have, like, more unhealthy options than they do healthy options, but because it's all you can eat, I'll generally just go down there either as, like, a brunch or like an early lunch and just eat a lot <laughs> um, and then grab a meal exchange on the way back to my dorm for dinner and that usually fills me up pretty decently. I get a sandwich, uh, chips and a soda usually with a meal exchange which like that isn't terrible um, but pizza, <laughs> pizza fries, a burger, soda, like it's, it's not good. To help with these struggles ASU Student Services offers information for healthy eating on and off campus and can be reached at wellness at asu.edu. Reporting for the State Press, I'm Mark Quinones.